it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, this is going to be a review of the newest vehicle to be added into Grand Theft Auto Online, the Western Sea Breeze, as well as an overlook at this week's bonuses, discounts, sales, and more that you need to know about for the upcoming week. So, as I just mentioned, the Western Sea Breeze is now available, and if your wallets are a little light from the Vigilante or the Halloween content, well don't worry. I'm doing another shark card giveaway. I've got a new one going on right now on my Twitter account. I'll leave a link to it in the description. I'm handing out $1.25 million. So all you have to do to enter that is retweet the tweet and then simply follow me. It's that easy. If you're not following me, you should because I do shark card giveaways almost weekly whenever Rockstar add new content into the game. So check that out. It's pretty awesome. So I was just explaining the sea breeze is now available in the game. Rockstar says, escape the ghouls and costumed crazies in style. Whether you're landing on a desert runway or splashing down right next to your private yacht, the Western Sea Breeze is a business class option for every occasion and locale. And if you're the kind of high earner who might have needed a machine gun or Bombay, don't worry, there's plenty of room. The Western Sea Breeze is now available for purchase at Elitist Travel. So that's where you'll find this vehicle available. And in case you don't have the trade price, which actually requires you to do 36 hangar source missions, it's $1.13 million for the buy it now. Or if you do have those uh, trade missions done, it's $850,000, making it one of the cheaper vehicles we have available in this DLC. Now, it's a two-seater plane, and it's pretty awesome. Now, I do want to talk about some secret features and some things you might not have known about this plane, or maybe that you should know before purchasing. The first thing that you should be aware about is it's a small airplane. So when I bought this, my hangar was full. I had 20 out of 20 planes, and it's a small aircraft, which is great because I tend to prefer those. I like to have as many planes out on my hangar floor as possible. So the Sea Breeze fits under the small category, which is great, which means I don't have to really sacrifice all that much in terms of moving some other planes around. Now, as far as the upgrades go, it has all the standards, armor, countermeasures, engine handling, livery, respray, and weapons. Weapons, as they mentioned in the description, you can choose to add the bomb bay doors. You add the 7.62 machine guns, which we'll test in a little bit. Now, in case you get some buyer beware and you're thinking to yourself, man, I really don't want this vehicle anymore. Well, after it's fully upgraded, you can sell it for $712,000, which is not all that terrible, but once again, why would you buy it if you instantly knew you were going into it, not going to be wanting it? Now, let's talk about the bullet resistance of this airplane. Is it bullet resistance? The answer is no, but with a twist. The glass is actually bulletproof. So no matter what sort of weapon you use or how many bullets you shoot at the glass, it will not break. The only downside to this is it will still damage the plane and you still die if you get shot on the inside. So maybe it's the shape of like the shell of the glass. I, I don't know, but the glass does not break on the sea breeze, which I thought was rather interesting. It also cannot survive an explosive, which is not all that interesting. So a sticky bomb, an RPG, or a grenade will blow this up instantly. It can survive three homing launchers, which believe it or not, is two more than the vigilante that just came out. And it also can survive three hits from an explosive sniper. So not all that bad when you consider the fact that most people will probably be using homing launchers against you on this and you'll be able to survive a couple before you end up dying. Now if it wasn't obvious enough about the name, the Sea Breeze, this vehicle can land on water and land. So that's pretty cool. However, there's a bit of a twist to it. This vehicle can literally submerge underwater for a couple seconds. If into the water, oh, you'll just pop right back up like nothing even happened, which is pretty cool. So you don't really have to land this vehicle softly on the water. You can just go straight in and you'll pop straight out, which is pretty cool. One thing though, don't try this upside down. Someone in the chat dared me to do this on my live stream and if you land upside down, it's not gonna have the same effect. You're gonna die and it's you're just gonna be stranded in the water, so don't do that. So now let's talk about the weapons of the Sea Breeze. You probably won't think of the Sea Breeze as being that much of a weaponized vehicle, but as we looked at earlier, it can have all four of the bomb options that some of the other weaponized planes can have. It has the bomb bay doors. It can do all of that. It can drop bombs. It's, it's pretty crazy, but it also has the 7.62 machine guns. Now, the 7.62 machine guns should really only be reserved as like a last resort. So we did some tests and against humans, they're actually okay. The only problem with that is the plane sits really awkwardly when on land and the 7.62 machine guns are really far apart. So your likelihood of killing someone or a human, I should say, is not all that great. 
And if you test it against a vehicle like the Seabreeze, just for example, another Seabreeze, another plane, it takes a long time in order to blow up. I mean, I'm gonna speed up the footage here and it takes forever to destroy the seaplane. So it's not all that great at all. Um, like I said, the weapons on this vehicle should really just be used as a last resort sort of option. This is definitely more of a casual rider sort of plane. There's other ones that are way better at weaponized options than the Seabreeze. At least Rockstar gave us the option to add some of the weapons on there. Now, getting on to the last couple things about the Sea Breeze, you guys in the chat on my live stream at least wanted to test if you could fly this plane without one of the wings. So, for example, if you clip a sign or a building, can it still fly? The answer to that is no. So, I ended up doing this. I hit one of the buildings or one of the billboards, lost one of the wings, and you literally start tail spinning down to the ground almost instantly. So, no, you won't be able to survive. Some planes you actually can fly or float, I guess, for a little bit, but the Sea Breeze is not one of those. And speaking of that, the insurance on this plane is just like all the other ones from Smuggler's Run. It's $1,000, whether it's your own plane or someone else's, it's going to cost you one grand in order to get this out of the Moore's Mutual Insurance. Not sure why Rockstar have this weird thing with these planes. Like the Vigilante is 20 grand, but this is only $1,000. There just seems to be a lack of consistency. And to me, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Now, let's move on to the rest of the week. Rockstar kind of introduced the Sea Breeze at an awkward time. As you guys know, it's October 31st, so it's Halloween. And Rockstar have introduced some new Halloween 2017 bonuses, discounts, and more into the game, which is incredibly cool. And some of these discounts are only lasting like today which is also kind of interesting. So Rockstar says it's Halloween in Los Santos, which means it's time to terrorize the neighborhood while reaping the benefits of a litany of blood curling bonuses and deadly discounts. So they state in addition to the double GTA money and RP on the new adversary mode condemned and a special Halloween playlist running through November 6th that will feature the new Inferno Transform race. However, the following adversary modes are double money and RP for today only. So October 31st, 2017, this is the only day in which these bonuses are happening. It's double money and RP on Lost vs. Damned, Slasher, Beast vs. Slasher, Come Out to Play, the Transform Race Inferno, and the Bunker Slasher. So I don't know why Rockstar is only doing this for one day. These are amazing bonuses, but if you want to take advantage of these Halloween-esque adversary modes and Transform Race, then you're going to have to do it today on Halloween as they are going to be going away. However, as I mentioned earlier, you still have the double GTA money and RP on the Condemned Adversary Mode running through November 6th. And Rockstar created a special playlist running through November 6th as well that features that new Inferno Transform race. But the good Adversary Mode money-making opportunities are only here for today. Now have no fear, the Halloween content is still here. Rockstar are still offering 25% off returning Halloween content, including the demonic LCC Sanctus and the 2015 duo of the Frankenstein and the Lurcher. Now in addition to that, the Duke of Death is 25% off as well, but for many of you it will be free. So as you know, 25% off of free is still free, and those discounts are continuing through November 6th, which will likely be the last chance to buy them before they're probably gone forever. And Rockstar are also continuing and adding a bunch of other bonuses as well. So they're continuing the double GTA money and RP on the Smuggler's Run cell missions and the double GTA salary for bodyguards and associates. However, they state, join a different sort of Mile High Club and earn double GTA money and RP on the stockpile adversary mode. So Rockstar added that adversary mode a couple weeks ago. It's basically capture the flag with the new planes. It's pretty fun. And again, those are sort of a continuation of the stuff that's going to be going on through November 6th. They also give us a reminder to log in by the 6th to claim our $400,000 award, which will slip into our Maze Bank account by November 13th. And then Rockstar are also introducing a bunch of bonuses, discounts, and sales. New ones that are lasting through the 6th as well, so basically a week from now. The first of which is on the Elitist Travel site for the Western Bezra. So instead of it being $1.15 million, it's only $862,500, which is a pretty quick jet, so that's pretty awesome. 
The next two discounts occur on the Warstock Cash and Carry. The first of which is for the Blazer Aqua, which is traditionally between $1.3 and $1.7 million. Now it's $990,000 to $1.3 million. So pretty great sales and discounts right there. And also the Insurgent, which is one of the best deals around. I know people are excited about the ramming power of the Vigilante, but the Insurgent is now only $506,000, which is incredibly cheap for a vehicle of that importance and magnitude and stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome. After that, we have a boat on the Dock T site, the Lampadati Toro. Instead of it being 1.7 million, it's only 1.3. Not sure how many people will be interested in that, but hey, that's a nice discount right there. On Legendary Motorsport, we have two vehicles. The Gratti Cheetah Classic, one of the best sports classic cars in the game, is now only $648,000, not bad at all. And one of the worst supercars in the game, the Progen GP1, instead of it being 1.26 million, is now only $945,000, so not all that terrible. Now, in addition to that, if you want to buy a hangar, well, you can get the workshop for 25% off too, which is quite nice. Rockstar have done this discount for like four straight weeks though. So I'm not sure how many people haven't taken advantage of this. And then the only other thing that's going on as far as sales and bonuses is 25% off all melee weapons. But I already own all the melee weapons, so that doesn't really do anything for me. But if you want to buy maybe the machete or the flashlight, I guess that would be a nice little bonus. And then after that, the only thing else that's going on is the new premium race and the time trial. These are both lasting through November 6th. The premium race is a special vehicle one. It is drop ship, locked to the Ruiner 2000, and the time trial is observatory. Observatory is pretty hard, and a drop ship had a horrible rating, so I would imagine it wasn't all that great of one. But regardless, that is everything that is going on this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. I will leave a link to the Newswire page in the description because, once again, rocks are kind of getting really confusing with some things that are only lasting today, other things that are lasting for, you know, a week. It's really interesting. So, like I said, I'll leave a link to that in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think about the Western Sea Breeze in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.